Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and real quick today, let's talk about polymer sights on your rifles. Let's get into it. All right, so in general, I am not strictly opposed to polymer sights on a rifle. These are Magpul Imbus, Imbus Pro? They're Imbus, and, uh, whatever they are, but they're, mag they're the regular standard, the most generic Magpul sights. And they're actually Magpul. There's knockoffs of these things, and I have some. Um, but these are the actual Magpul ones. These came with something, I can't remember what. But basically, they have a little lever, you push a little button, and the sights flip up so you can keep them flipped down most of the time and run your regular optics and just keep these as a backup. And in general, they've been okay. Now, I live in Alaska, and it gets a little bit cold. And today, we went out shooting, and I had my guns in a gun, set, in a gun case in the back of my truck, yeah, they bounced around a little bit, but it wasn't that bad, but it was cold. It's about 16 degrees right now, it's about 20 degrees. So about 16 degrees this morning. Sure enough, when I got back to the house after shooting just a little bit, not very much, um, the rear sight was fine, but I noticed that the front sight wasn't there. And I looked in the box and sure enough, the front sight was off the gun and it hadn't just slipped off. Hopefully you can tell if you can look in here. The front sight has broken. So, 16 degree weather, on plastic parts, you need to be careful on your firearms and make sure those plastic parts are not like extremely necessary things. That's why even having like a polymer lower, I, there's some out there, right? You can get them and there's like 80% versions and stuff and they're easier to cut and things, but you gotta look at what is your, what's the potentiality, if that's the right word, of that cracking or breaking, right? I wasn't going over major bumps and going off-roading and going all crazy and stuff, so this wasn't smashing around in the back of my truck. There were other guns back there in the case, and, you know, obviously something scratched up and banged up against it. But the fact that it was so cold, I truly do believe that was the major contributing factor to this guy cracking and breaking. So, if you live in environments that are very cold, you have to take things like that into consideration. If you live in super humid environments, right, your optics, they could easily fog up, keeping them in your vehicle right, when you're driving or whatever, especially if you're a cop or something like that, where you have stuff in your vehicle, you have air conditioning, you gotta pull that gun out and get to work and you run out into like 90 degree, you know, 100% humidity weather, you're gonna get some fogging going on. It's just, it's gonna happen. So knowing those environmentals like cold and heat and humidity, know those things, especially on work guns or guns that, like, like, your, like your carry guns, right? Big, big deal on your carry guns and your holsters. Make sure your holsters are made of a good quality material because the same thing can happen. That, that cold gets to that, that polymer, that plastic makes it brittle. Your clips can break. All kinds of stuff can happen. So quality where you need it. Make sure you have quality parts where you need it. And you can get away with some cheaper stuff on other things like accessories and whatnot on fun guns. But on work guns, keep it quality, keep it good stuff, know your environmentals, and know it's going to affect the stuff that's on your firearms, all right? Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully it was uh, educational somewhat for you guys and encouraging, like, get good quality stuff. You don't have to spend too much money, but get good quality stuff and especially know your environmentals, all right? Cable Dynamic SDI, hope you found it interesting and helpful. Hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.